I've taken three shits today. And I'm about to take one more on all these zombies because today we're going to be playing Onslaught Elite trying to get to Surge 100. In my last video, we went and tried out Onslaught Elite to see if it was good for grinding camos. And I'm not going to spoil that there. You guys are going to have to watch that to figure it out. But it seems like a pretty fun mode and I think we can get kind of far. So let's go ahead, hop in and see how far we can get. All right, here we are in game. Uh, as you can tell, I started with the E tool here and that's because melee weapons are really good against these elites and we can kind of fly through these rounds. I also picked Frenzy Guard as my field upgrade. Mainly because it's really hard to get armor in this. It's all random whether or not it drops. So I, I like to have a little bit of a control on whether or not we can repair it. But we also got a game on raid. Not a bad map to spend some time on. Now it's time to just smack some elites around. Oh, he's literally already gone. This is so easy. I wonder if we can get to 100 rounds or 100 surges with only 100 kills. That's going to be my goal. I'm going to try not to kill any zombies if I can help it. I haven't been to a surge past like 21. So I don't know if the zombie spawn rates get higher. But I'm really just going to focus on killing those elites. And that's it. It'll be pretty wild if we can pull that off. Go to bed. There we go. Tombstone. I have the worst luck with the random perks and onslaught. Actually, you know what? Tombstone... Kind of good in this mode. If I do end up dying and not having a self-revive, that could help. So I'll, I'll give you this one, Tombstone. You can be useful here. All right, Abomination. Eat my shit. Uh-oh. Very low health. Shut up. Ooh, clean. I wish they would have tried and experimented with Onslaught a lot more during like Cold War's life cycle. I'm pretty sure most of Onslaught or all of Onslaught was all just a PlayStation exclusive for the full first year of Cold War. Ooh, so I had to focus up and take him out. Deadwire? Eh, might as well just have it. It's better than nothing. But if they would have sat and like focused on it and didn't throw it in as like, oh, we have this contract with Sony. We got to put in some sort of exclusive mode. It would have been nice to see what they could have done with it. Because this, I feel like it's just drag and drop, throw the mode on whatever multiplayer map and it works. Like, imagine if they made it into, like, I don't know, round-based or something. I guess it's surge-based. That's not too far off from round-based. But, like, I don't know. It, it, it's fun to try to imagine what they could have done. Oh, death perception. Let's go. Uh, we don't really get the, the benefit of getting all this extra scrap. I think it does help with armor penetration, which will be useful later on. Now, what round do you think we're going to get a chalice? Last time I played, I got it on like round 10, which seems pretty uh, late in the game to get one. So hopefully we get it before then, but I don't think I'm going to be that lucky. I'm going to say round 12, we get our first chalice and we won't get pack three till like surge 35. Uh, I'm just going to throw that out there. 35 t seems too far. I'm going I'm to reel that one back, actually. Reel it back. I'm going to say surge 27. That one seems fair for a gold chalice. If I don't have a gold chalice by then, this game mode's just borked. Okay, there is a hound. Okay, we got it. We killed him before the hound could get to me. That's what I'm scared of. I want to keep this one kill per surge thing going and these hounds could mess it up. It looks really cool when you look this way away from it where it's reflecting off the wall. Oh, Megaton or this is a Megaton. This abomination. Don't hit. Don't kill me. We really don't need to go down early here. I need to hang on to the self revive as long as I can. I'm sure another one will spawn, but I don't I don't want to risk it. There you go. Oh, and we finally get armor. And a perk. Speed Cola. Very useful. Actually, it's kind of useful. We'll be able to get our Frenzy Guard a little faster, but no reloading going on here. Actually, while this Elite spawning in, check this out. Gonna nail it right here. Nope. Not enough shrimp on the Barbie. What about this? A little too much shrimp. Okay, now this is also something I'm worried about. When I split the Megaton, does that count as a kill? Or does the split and killing both the splits all just count as one kill? Because this could ruin the run right here. We're on Surge 10. So we have nine elites killed. Okay, he's splitting. Did that count? It's not looking like it. Oh, it does count as two. We're at 11 now. All right, well, there's no way around that. We have to take out both Megatons. We can't leave them. There we go. Any chalices? Nothing? Cryo freeze, I, I guess. We'll take that. All right, I'm going to spawn kill this one. Go ahead. Spawn in. There you go. See you later. Oh, we finally got our first chalice. What, is, what surge is this? 13? 12? What did I say? I'm just going to say I was right. Night, night. You can still see their death perception thing. Did you see that? The abomination was still outlined in this. Its ghost was still here. Ooh, ooh, he is not playing around. He came out swinging. Yeah, go in the pool. 
Come back down. Go ahead. Take a dip. Oh, he jumped out the split. Now, it is really cool from a, a camo standpoint that Megatons count as two elites. It's really bad for this challenge when they do. Because now we're at 16. It's going to start taking off. Oh, and we got quick revive. I didn't even notice that. Another way for us to get back up if we need to. Ooh, some pink armor. I'll take that. And PhD. I will say there is a long buffer in between these rounds. It takes forever for it to even start moving to spawn in the next elite. But I will say... Probably a lot faster than going to round 100 normally. Because right now, a normal round-based game, sure, is going to be faster than these first 15 rounds that we've played. But once we get into those later rounds, only killing one elite sounds like like so easy, so smooth from killing like 1,500 zombies and 14 elites on like round 79. Oh, a full power and a silver chalice. Okay, we got silver pretty fast. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to wait for that to start moving. Go ahead, orb, whenever you're ready. There you go. All right, I'm popping mine and I'm grabbing full power so I get an immediate one back. I think I probably should have waited an extra second because now it says I have none. So I just wasted it. Cool. I thought I was being smart. Turns out I'm just dumb. Oh, mule kick. Also very helpful. I'll get all that ammo back. I'll get to be able to hold three weapons that I'm not going to hold. Fantastic. I guess I do get the luxury of uh, throwing out my equipment and then having the chance of getting it back. But like, come on, where's Jug and like stamina up when you need it? I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should pick up one of these weapons just in case when, he, when we get to these later rounds, it's going to be more difficult. I'll hang on to the gallo. Oh, finally we get Jug. Uh, maybe I should keep that wire actually instead of cryo. Because uh, now I'm thinking that some of these elites, they, they do have weaknesses like Pokemon. And I think Cryo is really good against Megatons. Those are the ones that kind of hurt the most. Either that or Brain Rot. Because I know Brain Rot I can get Mimics with and Abominations. Shatter Blast, I think, does get the Panzers and what are they called? Manglers? But those guys are so weak and easy to deal with. We don't really need that. I wonder what happens if I go on top of the statue. Do I follow? No. And they don't even swing at me. They can't shoot at me. They can't throw their meat. This is broken. It's not like I, I can progress or anything, but neither can they. Okay, now they're hitting me. Ooh, got elemental pop. Could be scary for our little challenge we're going for. Don't want to accidentally get shatter blast, but going to be kind of useful for these elites. They're getting a little tough. We're a quarter of the way there. Still no gold chalice. I got two rounds until uh, I start to be mad about it because I predicted 27. All right, it's round 28. I don't have a gold chalice. I'm pissed. All right, so I'm thinking that Frenzy Guard maybe isn't the greatest choice because we are getting armor after every single elite that we kill. Maybe I should have Aether Shroud instead so I can have like uh, an oh shit button. Like if I start to get cornered or something. I don't know. It's not getting too difficult. Well, I guess they are getting a lot more health and they are way harder to kill. Well, like I'm still handling them. It's just taking a little longer. But every time, there's there's multiple armors. Okay, maybe I wasn't far off saying that at, like, wave 35, we get gold. No, I accidentally killed the zombie. Damn it, Mangler. You see what you do, dude? Yeah, I'm going to switch field upgrades. Especially since we already have uh, a full power sitting right there. Yeah, Aether Shroud, give me that. So we might have failed our challenge of only killing the elites all the way to round 100, but... I, I think the second I, I remembered that the Megaton splitting counts as two and not one, I was already over right there. But we can keep them down to a minimum. I'm still only targeting the elites. The zombies that want the smoke are going to catch it. But I ain't going after them. They walk in front of my swing. That's on them. No way. I just got knocked. Does the pistol do enough to end them? Why are you firebombing me? I'm on the ground. And you're going to... What? Go do something. Stop it. Come here. Come get meleeed. Come on. Why am I crawling so slow? I'm supposed to be faster. Come here. Just get a little closer. Can I hit you yet? Yup. Later, bitch. Well, there goes like all of my perks though. So that's fun. Still no gold chalice. 35 was not a bad bet for that. Oh, and it didn't even drop armor that time. Of course, the one time I switch and try to do a different strat. Ow. Stay away. There you go. Damn, they have a lot of health. You better be giving me a gold chalice. Holy shit. Oh, I killed another zombie. Damn, dude. These things hurt. A bronze chalice? Who was that helping at Surge 34? Nobody. Not another panzer. I'm scared. I'm going to Aether Shroud on it, actually. Look how little damage I'm doing. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that's bad. Ow. Oh, shit, dude. I'm going to have to hand cannon you. You little bitch. Yeah, you like that? 
There's two more. Still not a gold chalice. Ever since the Halloween event, these guys have been stingy with those. All right, there's not very many of these elites that I can like just handle on my own now. I need a field upgrade or I need a uh, score streak to help. But to be fair, they still have not given me a gold chalice to use. No way I'm going down to the zombies. I actually went down to the zombies. Stupid fucks. Spawn in another one. I'll just kill this guy. Oh, stop knocking him over. Get him back over here. I need him. There we go. Eat dick. Almost immediately killed me back. This is way tougher than I thought it was going to be. Oh, finally. Only took 42 surges. But we finally have a gold chalice. Maybe we can do some damage now. Actually, we just picked up a combat bow too. This thing does one-shot zombies at any round. I wonder if it does the same thing for elites. And if not one shot, then at least it'll get some fire damage on them. Let's try this out. Go ahead, spawn in. Okay, so it does still do fire damage just by hitting them. It's doing 9,000 damage a second. That's pretty good. Now, what's pack three doing for me? Much better. Damn, the damage drop off was huge. The real test is to see if this one or two shots the split still. Yep, two shots them. Beautiful. Also killed a few zombies there. It's getting real hard not to kill these zombies. They're getting in the way. So I think the new strat we have is wait for them to spawn in. Start spamming the bow melee at them. Get a few shots in. Give them some fire damage. Ooh, it's already doing a lot of damage to him. Can we just take him out with just the bow? We might be able to, but he's hurting bad. He's hurting the shit out of me. Oh, he's already dead. The fire damage took him out. This is the perfect strat. What? It just one tapped me. This is bullshit. And my pistol does absolutely nothing to him. Let's tombstone shadow. Hopefully I don't die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I just barely made it through. No way. Ooh, that was scary. Oh, no, no. This is stupid. I should not have died there. And I have to use my self revive now. This sucks. All right, well, hopefully I get quick revive right here. Nope, stamina up. Oh, we're in deep shit. Oh, the abomination fell off the map. Oh, he's right back. Okay, so at least they accounted for that. Now, this is where it gets scary. I do have a stun, so I'm going to use that. Let's hit him with it. Okay, he's got some fire damage on him. I just got to wait till he's using like one of his charge attacks and then use the map to my advantage and kind of just loop around him. Can I use height advantage? There we go. What are you going to do? Nothing. Go ahead and shoot. You can't shoot up here. Oh my God, he can. He can and it hurts. Oh my god. Oh my god, I almost just died. Why you got wall hacks? What the fuck is that? Don't shoot through this wall. I might have to shoot like a bow at him. Even though he's in the water. There we go. This is so tough. Ow! What's the shotgun doing against him actually? Have we tried that? It's decent. Helps me keep my distance too. I don't know why I haven't been using this. There we go. Night, night, bitch. Oh, please give me a perk drop. Or even just a self-revive. I uh, This is bad. We're halfway there and I have no way to get myself back up if I end up fumbling here. No, no! Literally as I'm talking about it. Fuck. All right, let me try one more time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw on a podcast or something. I'm going to try again. All right, I've made it to about where I died at last time. This time, no downs though. Knock on wood, because now that I'm talking, I'm going to start doing a lot worse. But I have a strat. I switched to Tesla Storm. I've only really had to use it one time. But since I don't have like two field upgrades to get with Aether Shroud, it has two charges. It seems to be dropping a lot more insta kills. So I'm waiting for the orb to move. And then I'm grabbing the insta kill right as it moves. It gives me a lot more damage on these elites, and I've been flying through these rounds. But the orb's moving. I'm going to give it a second. I'm going to scoop the insta-kill. Now our boss will be spawning in shortly, and I have a full, like, 20 seconds to do damage to him. And it makes it so much easier. There we go. And I'm still getting it done with the E-tool as well, and I accidentally scooped that insta-kill, so that kind of ruins what I'm doing here. Yikes. But also, if you haven't noticed, we're on uh, Apocalypse now, I think is the name of the map. A lot easier than uh, Raid. Raid, it puts you in some weird spots where you can't really run around too much here. I get a lot more freedom. Oh, great. And it's Abomination. I also did end up uh, finding another Gallo on the ground. So we basically just reset our last game. So for the Abominations, these are the ones that I'm mainly using the Gallo on. The rest are getting the E-Tool. This one dropped nothing. Just the insta-kill? Did everything else go on the ground? Okay, so th that's 
Noted. I'm starting to think full power might not be a thing. I, I can't remember getting one at all this whole game. Maybe it's like map dependent on what kind of uh, power ups you get, or maybe it's field upgrade dependent. I don't know, but the insta kill strat's working for me, so I'm not complaining, at least not too much. I will start complaining if I die from not having a field upgrade though. You can bet your ass on that. Oh, we actually just swept this abomination, assuming he dies right here. Okay, good. I thought I was, the second I started speaking, he was stopping taking damage. A combat bow on him? Ooh. Also, we did just pass 100 eliminations, so rip the 100 limbs, 100 rounds. But we, I mean, we're still doing pretty good. Only 100 and we're at round 60? That's pretty fire. Oh, there's a full power. We finally seen one. So they can spawn. Oh, and another one. And it dropped the perk. We're getting new drops now. Actually, that's bad. We don't have an insta-kill now. I think they're they're getting wise to what we're doing. All right, well, if they give me a full power, then I get a field upgrade to work with. But if they're going to give me a mangler, I don't have to do anything. He just dies. Later. Oh, wait. Maybe with insta-kill, he only dies in one hit. All right, bye, mangler. Another full power. They're messing up the strat. Why change now? Maybe it's because my field upgrade's full now. And they're like, oh, he has a full field upgrade? Give him another one. It's like when you have full ammo and they give you a max ammo. All right, let me try using my field upgrade this time. See if that changes anything. Well, first, let's see what enemy it is. I don't want to waste it. If it's Abomination, I'll do it. Nope, it's a Panzer. Panzer can just eat the crossbow. Yeah, jump towards me and die quicker. Nope, another field upgrade or another full power. Very interesting. At least I'm still kind of smoking these without the insta-kill. I thought, like, that might be a crutch. Come to find out, the bow's just the crutch. Ooh, look at our surge. Sex? It might as well be sex the way we're fucking these elites. Now look at that. The perfect 69-69. What more can you ask for? Okay, we got an abomination. I'll use my field upgrade this time. That way we're getting constant damage on them, constant fire damage. And then we'll see if it still drops me a full power after this. Because if it does, I'm gonna be kind of mad. Let me see if we can game the system. Damn, even with the full Tesla storm on them... And a bunch of hits from the flame bow. Okay. I was going to say, if he survived all that, he deserves to live. But we still got a... What is this? Full power? Should we go around without it? I feel like it's stupid to not pick it up. But I kind of want to test. Let's test it. I'm going to leave the full power and see if we get an insta-kill now. And we can get back on our insta-kill track. Could end up regretting this, though, if this is uh, another abomination. Please don't be. Okay, cool. It's just a mimic. Absolutely bitch-made mimic. Go ahead, try me. Okay, what we got now? Oh, back to full power. Okay, so maybe we're just on a really bad RNG run. Or maybe after a certain round, it's like, oh shit, uh, maybe we're giving this to this guy too much. Okay, here's where we could get one. These Megatons drop one for when it splits and for each one of the splits. Uh-oh. That's where we need the Tesla Storm, right there, when I'm stupid as hell and just run right into a wall. Oh, and we finally got the insta-kill back. Perfect. This is just... Like millennia. Oh no. Okay, our insta kills are back, but I grabbed that way too soon. But what I was gonna say is this is so much faster than round base. We're on round 74 right now. In this game, it's only taken me 51 minutes. If we're playing round base, we'd be on like round 40, maybe. So if you want to get a die at round 100, this is, uh, you know, not bad for how long it takes. Especially if you're doing this strat, it's kind of simple. Okay, so Megatons might be the power-up, like, Arbiter. These are determining what my power-ups are going to be. So I think for the next few rounds, it's just going to be full power. Since this one dropped one. Oh, no, actually, this one gave me a max ammo. So everything I was thinking about this mode has been completely wrong. All my theories have been incorrect. Also, after 80 surges of this, never have I had one spawn up here. I've not been in the temple, like, at all. Oh, and now it's only max ammo. So I guess it just picks whatever power-up falls out of one of the Megatons. Maybe it was the max ammo that it switched to. Because there is two of them. I don't know. I'm... I'm thinking myself in circles here but i do feel like the megatons got something to do with whatever power up just spawns the most so give me another megaton with insta kill please all right so now we have another megaton here that i just finished we got a full power a max ammo and an insta kill those might be the only power ups we can get but let's see what becomes our power up in the next round oh nope full power but it is kind of good to know that i'm gonna get a full power in my next few elites here because then i can just start spamming mine if i really need to you, you kind of build your strat around it we don't really need it since this bow is kind of overpowered as shit but if we somehow drop the bow or something we could just like spam our field upgrade okay let's see how many bow hits it takes to kill the abomination i've already hit him once the fire damage has gone away let's hit him again so two hits and he goes to half health i'm gonna say it's four hits to kill him completely the other time i was just spam hitting him so here's our fourth hit see you later abomination 
There we go. So just four hits. Everything else takes one or two. Everything's mainly one if you do get the insta kill though. Also, just now realizing for a few rounds there, I might have had the game audio muted, at least in the recording, because I had a podcast playing and if anything happened in the game, I didn't want the uh, podcast to be playing through. But we're chilling now. And if you're wondering, it was the Always Sunny podcast fire show you should watch it there's one thing i know for sure about this mode and that there is no wonder weapons actually i wouldn't say for sure maybe i'm just really unlucky but within my 96 surges i haven't seen a single one drop would be a cool addition though i'm not gonna lie but uh i doubt any of them are gonna be better than the bow they might as well just reskin this to like a derizon drac bow i think this is worthy this would be the new flame bow huh <laughs> it just got folded how am i supposed to get that hold on Let's try this. Okay, that is not exactly what I was trying to do. I was trying to do like a, a PhD slide towards it. Nope, that didn't work. All right, well, full power. Keep your secrets. We are on Surge 99 right now, though. Maybe we Surge 100 once this thing starts. I'm actually not sure how it works. You would think I would after all that I've played so far. Okay, we are on Surge 100. And we're going to be done with Surge 100 in about... Let's give it uh, like 15 seconds, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 1. See? Perfect. I timed it exactly how I needed to. But there we go. Surge 100 and 100-ish kills, 150. I mean, that's not too far off, is it? I got two crits, no revives, no downs. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and end it here. So, Outbreak Elite, pretty cool. If you want to get like a pseudo round 100, go ahead and go for it. It's pretty fun once you get all the right stuff. I think if this mode got a few more tweaks, this could be like an actual standalone, like, hey, you want to play zombies? Yeah, what mode do you want to play? Like, it could be in that conversation. Because right now, when you ask somebody to play zombies, unless they're like a big Cold War player, they're thinking round based, you know? But yeah, I mean, Outbreak's decent. Onslaught's pretty decent as well. But you add a few tweaks to those, those could be like their own juggernauts of modes but at this point i'm just rambling uh go ahead and like the video if you liked it dislike it if you didn't if you're new here sub uh, if you want to follow my socials or anything i do outside of youtube my twitter and my instagram are linked below same with my discord if you want to join that but that's going to be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later